Hey y'all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today we're going to discuss my five favorite bourbons in the $40 price category. We're going to continue that conversation that we've had a few times before. If you remember, trying to put up links somewhere, but we discussed my five favorite bourbons in the $20 price category. Then we discuss my five favorite bourbons in the $30 category. And today we're going to hit that $40 category. Now, keep in mind, I purchased each and every one of these bottles that you'll see tonight in my area between $40 and $45. Now, I completely understand that uh, around the states and all over the world, prices can vary quite a bit and, and I get that but I can only go uh, for what I have here for a price structure and I promise you that I've paid between 40 and 45 dollars for all the bottles that you'll see tonight so that's going to be exciting this is going to be a cool show but before we get started let me just take one minute tomorrow night 8 p.m. central time so that's Friday Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Time, we'll be doing a live stream. My brother will be back here again behind the bar, and we're going to be blind tasting Wild Turkey Master's Keep Collection. Uh, with Trenton's help, with what he does out there, and what I've picked up, I'm fortunate to have each and every bottle so far of the Master's Keep, collect Master's Keep Collection. And we're going to blind taste that. My plan is I want to, Trent, here's my plan. My plan is I want to blind taste all the bourbons. And then between my brother and I and Trenton, we'll get a winner of those five. And then from there, we're just going to discuss and taste the Cornerstone Rye with the winner of the five bourbons to see which ones we like the best. So that's the plan. Don't miss it. We're going to have some awesome giveaways. Trenton, what is it? Blanton's. Blanton's. We got a bottle of Blanton's. We got a Henry McKenna 10 year. Eagle Rare. And we got an Eagle Rare. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? That's just awesome. So sure. that's going to be the giveaways. We're going to have some shirts and other things too, as well, like we usually do. But the big, the big ticket items is the is the bourbons that we're going to be giving away. We got the Blanton's. So if you can, that'd be great if we can see you Friday night, 8 p.m. All right, we got to get moving. We got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get on our horse and let's get ready to ride, all right? We're going to show you the very first bottle. My favorite bourbons in the $40 price category. Number one, Bullet 10 Year. I paid about $42 for this Bullet 10 Year, and it comes in at 91.2 proof. Launched in early 2013, this is Bullet's first age statement product. Aged 10 years, this bourbon is made with a mash bill of 68% corn, 28% rye, and 4% malted barley. According to Tom Bullet, this bottle is a blend of 10, 11, and 12 year old bourbons. To be honest with you, this bourbon kind of took me by surprise. Um, as you know, I'm, I, I, ha I really haven't had a whole lot of Bullet products down here in the basement bourbon bar, but I got this Bullet 10 year and it's, and it's really, really a nice, nice bourbon. It's, it's minimum 10 years of age and it has an extremely well-balanced flavor profile in my, in my humble opinion. It has some, some bread in there with some nice baking spices. Just a hint of vanilla and maybe a little bit of a, of a dark cherry on the background. But the key for me with this is just an extremely easy sipper and very, very well balanced. So my first on the list tonight, $40 price category, bullet tenure. All right, quickly moving on down the line. The next offering that I have for you, New Riff Single Barrel. New Riff Single Barrel Bourbon is made with the same mash bill as the brand's standard release. 65% corn, 30% rye, and 5% malted barley. Each single barrel bottling is aged for four years and bottled at barrel proof without chill filtration. I've been really paying attention to the New Riff products ever since uh, the special rye releases came out. Uh, Balboa rye, What's the other one? Malted rye. Malted rye. 
really, really great stuff. And so this particular uh, single barrel has been down here in the basement for, I don't know, a, a number of months. But it's just, it's just kind of hidden away on a shelf. And I, and I broke it out and really spent some time with it. And it's just really, really good. This is a, an aggressive type of bourbon. It's not like your, like your bullet here where it's just well, it's well balanced nice sipper this one's pretty aggressive it hits you with that rye spice right off the right off the bat from that high rye mash bill and then it gets you with a little bit of vanilla and some brown sugar and just a hint of orange in there too but it's really really good and that proof point is spot on on this one it's an excellent excellent choice for 45 bucks all right moving on down the line the next one i want to show you Four Roses Single Barrel. Four Roses Single Barrel will cost you about $42 and comes in at 100 proof. Four Roses uses two different mash bills and five different yeast strains to create 10 different bourbon recipes. Their standard single barrel is always OBSV, which is a mash bill of 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. My bottle came from Warehouse RN and is barrel number 46T. All right, well, what you got here in this Four Roses single barrel is another, is another uh, high rye mash bill. So, I mean, right off the bat, you're gonna get that beautiful rye spice that you get with the Four Roses single barrel. It's, it's like second to none with that, that rye spice. And then you get hit with just a little bit of oak and some dark fruits of some sort in there and then just a hint of chocolate at the end. I find it to be an incredible journey with this particular bottle and I enjoy this neat at times and I enjoy it over ice at times. It just depends on my mood, but either way, it's, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic pour for the money. Next on the list, Old Forester 1870. Old Forester 1870 original batch pays tribute to the Old Forester's status as the first bottled bourbon. To recreate the original Old Forester's flavor profile, barrels from three different warehouses with different production dates, barrel entry proof, and maturation dates are blended into the final bottling. This particular pick for me was a little bit difficult because I, I, I knew I was going to put in an old Forester, and try to now I was I was struggling with that with with this 1870 and the new bottle and bond that came out because they're both right in there in that 40 to 45 dollar range and both of them are really good. When it came down to it, I had I had to go with the 1870. For me, it's just a real homey feel to it. It's just a real comfortable feel when you're sipping this. This is an excellent beginner's bourbon at 90 proof. And it has some just just some fabulous notes. On first sip, you get a little bit of a, a real beautiful fruit note, maybe a pear of some sort, something like that. And then it gets you a little caramel. And what I like the most about this bottle, it has a real lovely oak tone that comes in there. It's not harsh. It's not dry to me. It's just a beautiful oak tone. And at 90 proof, this is like, I mean, this is like Kool-Aid in a glass, Trent. This is up, it's just like, I mean, this to me is like sitting by the fireplace somewhere and just having a, 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 a neat pour of bourbon and just feeling homey and relaxed. That's what I get with Old Forester 1870. Hey, last but not least, and I got to tell you, I have to tell you, this one's my favorite. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Wild Turkey Rare Breed costs you about $44 and comes in at 116.8 proof. Wild Turkey uses a single mash bill for all of their bourbons and bottles Rare Breed at barrel proof. Rare Breed is a blend of six, eight, and 12 year old bourbons and was first released in 1991. Now, as you know, if you've seen my, my prior videos, trying to probably put that up somewhere, but uh, the five bourbons you just absolutely have to have. This I, I, I put this in as my as my daily drinker. 
it's just so good. It's just really, really good, as you can see. I mean, I've got hardly anything left in there. It's time for another bottle of Trenton. But this is another bottle that I enjoy neat once in a while, but to be truthful with you, a good majority of the time I pour it over ice, and it's just it's just a fabulous drink. It's just a fabulous, fabulous whiskey. It hits you with a little maple syrup, brown sugar, but I think what I like the most about this, but it has like a little bit of a burnt toast characteristic to the oak notes, to the barrel notes. It's kind of like a, for me, it's kind of look like a little bit of a, of a light burnt toast flavor to the barrel char, which I think is just ridiculously good. And of course the caramel maple syrup right out, right out of the gate. It's just fantastic, it really is. Hey, that's all I have for you tonight. I sure hope you enjoyed it. I really did enjoy putting this video together. I had all kinds of choices and some of them were ridiculously hard, trust me. And by the way, I'll show you real quick here, a, a really good special mention. It's not a bourbon and that's why I didn't put it in the show, but this uh, this this Michter Sour Mash is fantastic. It's like $39, $40. So that's my special mention for the night. Really good stuff. I had several other bottles too that didn't make the show, but could have. I wrestled with it, but had some great stuff down here. So thanks for watching. Boy, we really appreciate each and every one of you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.